these in class. The first one we did was the baby, and the baby had, but the pronoun had to be the subject. Okay. Now, what we've talked about, and what it, you need to kind of get your head around, is when you use a pronoun, you will have already used the noun either at the beginning of the sentence or the beginning of the paragraph. So if we were talking about the baby, he might have a name. So he might be Peter. So Peter was one year old, was one was 18 months old. Then your next sentence might start, he was crawling on the ground. Okay? Because your pronoun replaces your noun, your proper noun quite often, doesn't it? And then, just so you don't keep repeating that thing. So that's what's hard about this, you try and think about it as a sentence out of context almost. Then we had this boy with his painting, and the pronoun had to be the object. We found that a bit harder, so we went back to the other slide and picked one of their examples. So we got, we use Summer. Summer gave it to him. So him is the object in that sentence. And then the last one we've just done is all about cheetah. And the pronoun is going to be the subject. And we just talked about this. So we would say at the beginning of our introduction, this paragraph would be, cheetahs are the fastest land mammal. And then you would do a sentence after that where your pronoun is a subject. So who's got a pronoun sentence as a subject sentence for my... So my first sentence here are, is, cheetahs are the fastest land mammal. Who's got a sentence to follow on from that using a pronoun as a subject? Big boys? It can run at 60 miles an hour. Anyone else? They have spotty fur. They are faster than a shark. I've seen those things. They race them, don't they? I know they don't. She just don't swim. But anything like that. So what you'll get head around for this, especially for this pronoun bit, is that it's not necessarily the first time you introduce the subject. The subject will have already been introduced before. Right, let's skip on. We're going to do noun phrases as subjects and objects. So a noun phrase is anything that goes with the noun. So it could be a determiner or an article that goes with the noun. Okay, it doesn't have to be an adjective. Often, there's some discrepancy when you get to year six about what an expanded noun phrase is. But the basic expanded noun phrase is an article or determiner with one adjective and a noun. Okay, the, the big bus, the big red bus. Okay, the bus is a noun phrase. The more you put on it, then it becomes expanded. Okay, and then when in year five, six, we end up with our hamburger, I think we're taking it down, which has a much bigger expanded phrase. But the basic noun phrase is an article determiner with a noun. Keep that in your mind. So, accidentally, the old lady broke it. So, what's the noun phrase? <laughs> That would be broke with the verb, wouldn't it? Oh. Who's the what's Oh the old lady? Yeah, the old lady, that's the noun phrase. Accidentally the old lady broke it. So what is the old lady? Is she doing it? Or is it happening to her? Did she break something? Yeah. Yeah, yeah so she's the subject. subject. Accidentally the old lady broke it. Yeah, we're getting there. These are a bit easier, don't they? The quiet boy wrote an amazing adventure story. Ooh. What's the verb? What's the doing in that sentence? What's the, what's the doing thing? Right. Wrote. Okay. So wrote. So you've got the quiet boy. That's a noun phrase. An amazing adventure story is also a noun phrase. Because it's a thing. It's a story, isn't it? Yeah. An amazing adventure is just the adjective to describe the story. So have we got a noun phrase as a subject and a noun phrase as an object, do you think? Yeah. Yeah? Let's see. Yes. <laughs> We're getting there. Okay, in the distance, we saw a dark, gloomy house. Where's the noun phrase in that one? Would be in the distance. That would be an fronted adverbial. What's the thing? What was happening? What's the verb? So. So. The we is your pronoun in there. We saw. So what's the we being used as? We saw. Okay, so what do you think the noun phrase is being used as? Would it be dark? 
No, what's it being used, subject or object, I mean? Dark gloomy house is all the noun phrase, because the, the noun is the house, dark gloomy is describing the house, it's a noun phrase, expanded noun phrase. In fact, it's a dark gloomy house is your noun phrase. Who saw the dark gloomy house? We. we. So we is the subject, because we did it, we did it, okay? We saw a dark gloomy house. What's the dark gloomy house? Is it subject or an object? We've just said who's the subject. Object. object. That's the. Yeah. Oh, thought I'd wrong. That's the. That's what we saw. We. The subject saw is the verb. The dark blue house is the object. The in the distance is just your frontative verb at the beginning. It's telling us where, isn't it? Or where in the distance? Okay. The heroic princess rescued him. What's, the, what's happening? What's the doing in that? What's the verb in that sentence? Rescue. rescue. Who rescued who? The princess. So, rescued, rescued him. him. So, him is a pronoun and that is being used as the object. object. Brilliant. So, who did, who did the rescue? Who the did princess. the rescue? The heroic princess. So, she's the subject. She's, the, she's doing it. So we like this one, we saw, we were doing what we saw in the distance was the object, yeah? In this one, the quiet boy, he, was, he wrote the story, he was doing the doing. Does that make sense? So the subject is the person doing it. The object is what they're doing it to, or the outcome of it, okay? So the heroic princess rescued him. The heroic princess is the subject. Again, yeah, probably get it wrong. There we go. Okay, so you think the subject is doing the doing. The object is what the doing is happening to. Okay, they're almost kind of not actively in it, it's happening to them. During the lesson, now what's the during the lesson part of that sentence? Think what we talked about in the distance. Front of the verb, it's the verb at the beginning. It's introducing when it's happening, isn't it? It's giving us a time. During the lesson, so do we need to worry about that in terms of subject and object? No, it's also, it's got a comma on there as well. It kind of shows you it's kind of a separate clause, isn't it? So we need to look at more of the main clause. During the lesson, the excited girls rehearsed the Tricky Street Dance routine. Who did what to what? The excited girls did the routine. So, the excited girls, noun phrase, what's that part of the noun? What's, what? Subject. What did they do? Um, they were but what was the? Yeah, they rehearsed. That was the. That's the verb. What did they rehearse? Dance. Yeah, the tricky street dance routine. It's just a dance, really. So, what do you think? What's the object? Um, so we know the excited girls are the subject. The rehearsed is the doing. Is the verb. So the object is dance. the dance. So. Is the noun, what's the noun phrase being used as? Both. Both. Subject and an object. This one's the subject, this one's the object. Oh, I've just done the struck the fluffy ginger cat and I didn't mean to. But we've got that one right. So this one, she stroked, she is a pronoun and she is the subject. She stroked, that's what she did. What did she stroke? She stroked the fluffy ginger kitten. Okay, so the subject is the person doing it or the thing doing it, the verb, and then what it's happening to is the object. Okay, we're gonna I'm gonna pick a couple of these and then we're gonna have a go at them, alright? So we've got castles. Choose a square to reveal a picture, we've got castle. Write a sentence about the picture that has a noun phrase for the subject and the object of a sentence. Let's do a couple so you can choose. We've got eggs, we've got castle, we've got a river, and we've got a man walking a dog. Okay? You can pick one of those, but remember you need a noun phrase. What's a noun phrase? Isn't it when they're doing something? No. Well, that's the, that's, that would make them the subject, but what is a noun phrase? Is What's it, a noun? Is it in, uh, no, it's a Yeah. So it's something that goes in the noun. So A, so it's a determiner or article, so A bus, A dog, A cat, but it might have some adjectives in front of it, so it might be an expanded noun phrase. 
a dark blue Newcastle. Yeah, but you need a noun phrase for the subject and the object. So let's quickly flick back, just to remind you, subject and object. So most of you look at these, you, the verb is there, isn't it? What they did, if one's got a French verb, which you might use, you don't have to, but the subject and the object. Not the same noun phrase, but they both need to be noun phrases. So let's quickly flick back, and then, oh, which one did we do? That one, didn't we? That one, that one. Was it this one? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay, so if you're at home, pick one of those and noun phrase, subject and object. You think what your verb is in the middle of those two things and then you can put your answers on Seesaw. Off you go.